I've said in another video, Satan is sending his minions to deceive the body of Christ right now, you know? Satan isn't just an entity that just comes after all people himself. He's also an entity that um, people can have, including the very disciples of Christ, you know? Jesus told Peter, get thee behind me, Satan. There's wickedness in the heart of man, even the disciples of Christ. That's why those things have to be sanctified out. But I was talking in the other video about being at Whole Foods and a man sitting on my left and a man sitting on the right. And the man sitting on the left, you know, he looked like a zombie. He's very much into like consciousness, black consciousness, um, new ageism. You know, he was talking about he was spiritual, but looking at him, I'm like, you know, I told him, I was like, well, but being spiritual means that you are filled with the spirit of the Father. But I guess even Satan, you know, is a spirit. <laughs> so yeah, I guess you could say you're spiritual, but it's a dark kind of spiritual. And then the man that was sitting on the right, he was a man with a heart issue, but he was a Christian. And so this man on the left was basically confirming everything the devil was trying to tell me. And this man on the right was basically confirming everything that the Father was trying to tell me. It was kind of crazy. And so I was saying, oh, well, this is kind of like the Matrix where Keanu was fighting, like, the homeless man. You know, he was fighting uh, some kind of ninjas or something like that. I don't know. I said, these are the spirits that are trying to get hold of my vessel. I wanted to tell this testimony because I think it's important for us to know this in the last days. Yeshua went out into the desert and he was basically going back and forth with Satan. Satan was telling him one thing, like that man that was sitting on the left of me, and Yeshua was combating it with the word. And so, after, you know, five goes, Satan basically had to flee. And so yesterday, I got on YouTube, because look, I don't, while I believe that the Israelites were dark-skinned people black, possibly, um, I don't believe that currently every person the Father considers Israel or even every person that was considered Israel back then was a dark-skinned person, black, you know. I believe that at this point, his people look like everything because the Father is willing to redeem anyone and everyone. And there are many Asian, white, Hispanic, uh, sorry if Hispanic's offensive, Latino, Native American, mulatto, mixed, uh, islanders that are his children. They are Israel. They are grafted in. And so, you know, this girl got on YouTube, she was an ex-Israelite, and she was talking about her testimony concerning them. And, you know, at that point, I was kind of thinking about the Hebrew Israelites, because I've been to camps, and I'm like, they try to squash your voice. The father called me to be a teacher, and so I'm going to do what he tells me to do over what some random men that are likely witches and warlocks and sociopaths tell me to do. And that's not all of them. That's just some of them. So don't go off and be like, oh, you're a black Hebrew laser life. There's people in the Christian church that are wicked. A lot of them. This lady that invited me, she was, you could tell she had the light of God in her. She had the light of God. She was white. And she didn't invite me to her church, though, which was in, like, what was it, Kingsport or something. And I went. And I was looking. I was like, no, this isn't a church of God. First off, it has that big steeple on it. Uh, which represents Nimrod and I was looking at the people in the pulpit and I was like these are not children of the father like you're a child of the father this lady but these aren't children of the father and so you know never went back to that church again I was telling her testimony about the black Hebrew Israelites and there's this other girl that got on and she was like she put this long like paragraph and part of it was saying know thyself and so part of what Satan does is He'll tell you the things that you want to hear. So some of those things probably were from God. Things that she, the girl, the black Hebrew Israelite had came up with. Um, the ex-black Hebrew Israelite had came up with. Because these are things she's thinking. But then she put in there, the other girl put in know thyself. And so what Satan will do is he uses the spirit of divination to gauge your thoughts. He'll repeat them back to you and then he'll add in lies. And so I picked up on it because I'm used to this happening. And I told her... We're not called to know ourselves as children of God. And so she had something to say back. She was like, I'm telling my truth and all this kind of stuff. And I was like, okay, well, you can tell your truth, but you're not going to tell that to my sister, basically. Now, I consider anyone my brother or sister that does the will of God. I don't know the girl, never met her. That was my first time seeing the video, but she's still my sister because she's doing the will of God. And so 
I told her, you're not going to tell my sister that. We're not trying to know ourselves. We're not trying to do us. Because she said, I'm doing me. You do you. I'm like, no. We're doing God. And so that's not happening. And then she said, one more thing. And she put a peace sign at the end. I think she said she was following God. And she put a peace sign at the end. And so... I said, okay, this is a this is an agent because they'll often use that peace sign to tell you what God they're following. The peace sign represents the devil. Like, where's that? Where's the arrow pointing to? It's pointing down below. And so I said something else and I said, go in the name of Jesus. She never responded because that's the same thing. Like, you give them the scriptures, you tell them to go in the name of Jesus or Yahushua or Yahshua. They have to go. The devil has to flee. And so she fled. So... I don't know. I'm going to talk to the other sister and tell her exactly what was happening because she might not have recognized it. I mean, she said she had a lot of discernment, but we'll see. Because a lot of times when I pick up on, you know, false apostles, other people don't pick up on it. And then they start accusing me and persecuting me. But, you know, it is what it is. They usually learn later what the truth is. And then they're all like, <laughs> whatever about it. But, yeah. So just combat the devil with the word. It's not know thyself. It's know God, okay? He didn't tell us to know ourselves. That's a satanic slogan. When you try to know yourself, you're never going to know yourself in fullness, first off. But God knows everything about you, and he can reveal things about you that don't align with him. So what happens with the whole know thyself thing is people end up too concerned about who they are, and then they don't want to change anything. Like this girl the other day. I'm not that mad, but I had some garlic for lunch. And so I came in. I tried to brush my teeth and everything. <laughs> she was like, it smells like hamburgers over here. <laughs> I said, oh, maybe it's me. I had some garlic for lunch, but I tried to brush my teeth. <laughs> and I swear, she spent a good five minutes talking about how people smell like <laughs> onions and garlic. And this was a believer in Christ, you know. And so she kept saying, I just can't help it. I'm facetious, you know, I'll come after people. And, you know, this is a believer in Christ. And I'm like, this is the whole know thyself thing. It's not about who you are because now you are going overboard. You know, you're not respecting your brother at this point because <laughs> you're so concerned about this is who I am. I'm facetious. I make fun of people. Just offer people mercy, which is what God would do. I'm sorry that I came in smelling like garlic. So like hamburgers from the garlic. You know what it was? Because I smelled it. I smelled it too. <laughs> and guess what? I was like, this does smell like the seasoning that my mom uses for her hamburger. So I couldn't even like front. I was like, yeah, I do smell like hamburgers a bit. But the funny thing is I didn't have hamburgers. I just had garlic and kale, you know. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, be blessed, guys. Fight the devil with the word. Say, go in the name of Jesus. You don't have to put up with the devil. He's trying to make it seem like you do when you don't. You got a savior and you got a father that in heaven that will fight for you. So be blessed, guys. Have a good one. Bye.